Round we go. Round and round. Honey is extremely hygroscopic, which means that left exposed to a damp environment, it will pull moisture from the air quite readily. Moisture is the enemy of honey. If its moisture content exceeds about 18%, it will ferment and spoil. So it's important to have low humidity when you do your extraction. So it begins. Isn't that pretty? It's all black locust honey. Once we've extracted the honey and we get a quantity in there, um, we can open this honey gate and the honey will flow out into the bucket. But we don't let it just flow straight into the bucket because there's lots of little chunks of wax and various particles that come off when the raw comb is extracted. So we put this, it's actually a, a paint strainer that uh, you can buy at a paint store. Um, that fits tightly over the bucket. We boil this first just to get any residue off. Um, and then this two-part metal sieve goes on there, like this and this. And the first screen catches the bigger particles, the second screen, the smaller ones, and finally anything that gets past that gets captured by the paint straining bag so that you end up with nice, clean, clear honey. One of the problems with using a heated uh, uncapping knife is that it eats the honey, which breaks down the delicate phenolics that are in the honey and degrades its quality, its flavor, and its uh, healthful benefits. So that's why we use this rather delicate method of uncapping instead of just going at it wholesale with a knife. You may notice the whirring sound in the background. That's my trusty dehumidifier holding the uh, relative humidity down to a respectable 25%. It's uh, close to 100% humidity outside. But this little device has managed to keep the humidity down here in the shop so that the honey doesn't absorb moisture from the air. Become diluted and fall below that magical 18% mark. When the uh, humidity goes above 18% in the honey, fermentation and spoilage can occur. Here is an uncapped frame ready for the extractor. Do this little routine here, like this, to capture any runs that are trying to drool off of the frame, and in the extractor it goes. Come on around here and you'll be able to see see the honey sling out from this point of view right here. See the honey sling out on the walls of the extractor. Little spider webs. Don't stick your fingers in there. Cut them off. Run the extractor as fast as you can without it getting out of balance. See if I go too fast it starts hopping around. So I just hold the speed down so that the extractor doesn't wobble around too much. I actually have the extractor bolted to the floor, otherwise it would be walking all around. Round we go, round and round. Now that we've accumulated some honey in the bottom of the extractor, it's time to open the gate and watch the honey come flowing out. And there it is. Isn't that a pretty sight? 
I believe this side is about finished. I don't see anything coming off of the coming off the side. I don't see anything being flung out on the side of the extractor. I'm going to call this side done. Let it wind down. There's an extracted comb. The bees will love to get this back. They'll lick up every little spot of honey that remains in there, stuff that wouldn't sling out the extractor, so it won't go to waste. And then they won't have to rebuild the comb. They'll just fill it back up again. Don't worry. Don't worry.